Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com the first week of April 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Musician Ryuichi Sakamoto died March 28, 2023, of cancer at the age of 71. He was a prolific movie composer who won an Academy Award for his music for the 1987 film The Last Emperor. Sakamoto is also being remembered as an electronic music pioneer with the band Yellow Magic Orchestra. Actor Christo Zhivkov died April 1, 2023 in Los Angeles. He died of lung cancer at the age of 48. He starred in the 2004 movie The Passion of the Christ as St. John. Shivkov is also being remembered for his performance in The Profession of Arms. Singer Brian Briz Gillis died March 29, 2023. He was a founding member of the boy band LFO, though he left the group before they had their biggest hit, Summer Girls. Gillis is being remembered for singing on singles including their cover of Step by Step and Can't Have You. Comedian Mark Russell died March 30, 2023 in Washington, D.C. He died of prostate cancer at the age of 90. He specialized in political satire, which he sang while playing the piano. He is being remembered for skewering politicians, celebrities, and the powerful on his PBS specials. Russell was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran who served in the 1950s. Musician Sweet Charles Sherrell died March 29, 2023, after fighting emphysema at the age of 80. He was the bassist for James Brown's band in the late 1960s, playing on hits including Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud. Shirelle is being remembered for his influential bass style, thumping the strings in a technique that would become a hallmark of funk music. Scientist Virginia Norwood died March 26, 2023 at the age of 96. She invented the multispectral scanner that allows us to take detailed images of Earth from orbit. Norwood is being remembered as the mother of Landsat, whose work helped give us a better understanding of our Earth. Football player John Brockington died March 31, 2023, at the age of 74. He was an all-pro running back for the Green Bay Packers in the 1970s. Brockington is being remembered as the first NFL player to rush for over 1,000 yards in each of his first three seasons. Writer Royston Ellis died February 27, 2023 at the age of 82. His death was publicly announced this week. He was a poet of the beat generation who read his poetry over a backdrop of rock and roll music. He was an influence on the Beatles. Ellis is also being remembered for his wide-ranging travel writing. Professional wrestler Bob Miller, better known as Bushwhacker Butch, died April 2, 2023 at a hospital in Los Angeles at the age of 78. Born in New Zealand, he was half of the Bushwhackers tag team in the WWE. Miller is being remembered for his funny antics in the ring, including licking people. Chef Raghavan Iyer died March 31, 2023 at a hospital in San Francisco. He died of pneumonia after fighting colorectal cancer at the age of 61. He was a driving force in popularizing the cuisine of his native India in the U.S. Iyer is being remembered for writing cookbooks including Betty Crocker's Indian Home Cooking and On the Curry Trail. Record executive Seymour Stein died April 2, 2023 at his home in Los Angeles. He died of cancer at the age of 80. 
He co-founded Sire Records, where he famously took a chance on a young singer named Madonna, offering her the first record deal of her chart-topping career. Stein is being remembered for helping launch the careers of influential bands including the Ramones, Talking Heads, Depeche Mode, and many more. Board game designer Klaus Teuber died April 1, 2023 after a brief illness at the age of 70. He created the beloved board game Settlers of Catan, also now known simply as Catan. Teuber is being remembered for profoundly influencing the board game industry with his creations. Actress Judy Farrell died April 2, 2023, of complications from a stroke at the age of 84. She was best known for playing Nurse Abel on M.A.S.H. Farrell is also being remembered for roles on TV shows including Fame and Benson, as well as working as a writer on Port Charles. U.S. Army Special Forces veteran Billy Waugh died April 4, 2023, at the age of 93. He joined the U.S. Army in 1948 and served in both the Korean and Vietnam Wars. He became a legend of the Special Forces, participating in the first-ever Halo combat jump into enemy territory. Waugh is also being remembered for his second career in the CIA. He was one of the first into Afghanistan during Operation Enduring Freedom while in his 70s. Racing driver Craig Breedlove died April 4, 2023 at the age of 86. Driving his jet-propelled car, Spirit of America, he became the first person in the world to drive 500 miles per hour. Two years later, he became the first to drive 600 miles per hour. Breedlove is being remembered for fascinating the world with his land speed records in the 1960s. Actor Andres Garcia died April 4, 2023, of cirrhosis at the age of 81. He was a movie star in Mexico, a heartthrob in films including Pedro Navaja and La Ultima Noche. Garcia is also being remembered for his TV work, especially in telenovelas, including El Cuerpo del Deseo. Production designer Norman Reynolds died in April 2023 at the age of 89. He designed iconic scenes for the Star Wars movies, including the carbon freezing chamber where Han Solo was captured and Yoda's home on Dagobah. Reynolds is also being remembered for his work on Raiders of the Lost Ark, including the scene in which a giant boulder chases Indiana Jones. Actress Sharon Acker died March 16, 2023, at a retirement home in Toronto at the age of 87. She was known for the movie Point Blank, in which she appeared opposite Lee Marvin, as well as starring on the TV show The New Perry Mason. Acker is being remembered for her guest role on a 1969 episode of Star Trek. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. At least 33 people died in a series of tornadoes and strong storms across the South and Midwest on Friday, March 31, 2023. Fatalities were reported in Alabama, Arkansas, Delaware, Illinois, Indiana, Mississippi, and Tennessee. At least five people died in a tornado in southwestern Missouri on Tuesday, April 4, 2023. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Kentucky have been lowered to honor the memory of the Fort Campbell soldiers who died during a training exercise. 
Flags in New Jersey have been lowered to honor the memory of Sergeant David Solinas of Oradell, who died in the helicopter accident near Fort Campbell. Flags in North Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Joshua Caleb Gore, who died in the helicopter accident near Fort Campbell. Flags in North Carolina have also been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator David Hoyle. Flags in Ohio have been lowered to honor the memory of Springfield Township Police Officer Tim Unwin and William Dunson, who were killed in an automobile accident. Flags in Illinois have been lowered to honor the memory of firefighter and EMT Jermaine Pelt of the Chicago Fire Department. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. 25 years ago this week, singer and songwriter Tammy Wynette died at the age of 55. She was a country music legend, known for songs including Stand By Your Man and D-I-V-O-R-C-E. 55 years ago this week, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was killed at the age of 39. One of the greatest civil rights leaders of all time, he won a Nobel Peace Prize for his nonviolent work toward racial equity. Writer Maya Angelou was born 95 years ago this week. She died in 2014 at the age of 86. She was honored with awards including the Presidential Medal of Freedom for her groundbreaking career as a poet and memoirist. Actor James Garner was born 95 years ago this week. He died in 2014 at the age of 86. He starred in the popular TV series Maverick and The Rockford Files. Musician Muddy Waters was born 110 years ago this week. He died in 1983 at the age of 70. He was one of the most important blues musicians of all time, known for songs including Hoochie Coochie Man. Actress Betty Davis was born 115 years ago this week. She died in 1989 at the age of 81. She was the first performer nominated for 10 Acting Academy Awards, and she won two for Dangerous and Jezebel. Actor and dancer Buddy Ebsen was born 115 years ago this week. He died in 2003 at the age of 95. He was beloved for TV roles on The Beverly Hillbillies and Barnaby Jones. There are many more celebrity anniversaries this week, and we pay tribute to them in our new Tuesday video series, Death Anniversaries. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.